Now for the landing, we're just going to make a simple box and we've got the sides that we'll just put on with some wet glue right on top of the edges of the top or bottom, whichever, they're both the same. And the short sides have been sized so they should fit right in between the long sides. So once you get all four of your sides put together, just let this set up and dry and then go ahead and glue the top piece. So now that our little landing is dry, we can cover the edges with some patterned paper. Because this is an inch tall and I'll have 3 8 inch on the top and the bottom, I've cut a piece of patterned paper an inch and a quarter wide, scored it at 3 8 and 7 8 and now I'm going to wrap it around the edge. A piece of 12 inch should just fit. I'm going to start it in the middle of one of the long sides. That, that will be the back that we attach to the foundation. So if there's a little gap it shouldn't show. You wouldn't want a very big gap of course. So I'm just going to wrap that around and mire it in my corners just like we've done on other things. And now we can attach our landing to the foundation. We want to attach it on one of the narrow sides here. And it, sh it is sized so it, sh it should fit exactly. I'll just hold it up this way. It fits exactly in between that panel there. So I've prepped my back edge with some score tape. But I'm also going to put some little uh, blobs of white glue on there and then I'll let that thoroughly dry. I have all my ladder parts out here and we're going to start by covering the two 3 8 by 4 inch pieces of chipboard with some pattern paper. You can see that I've already got one covered here. So I just put some uh, score tape on both sides of the chipboard. And then I've, I think I've cut this piece about 7 eighths of an inch wide, so it'll be a little bit wider. And I just cut it from a scrap so it's a little bit long, so I'll trim that off here. And then just kind of form it and use your bone folder to get a nice tight wrap around there. Then we'll finish burnishing. And I'll trim any excess that there is off. Okay. So now that my two pieces are wrapped, I'm going to take one and mark a center line down the length and then cross lines every quarter of an inch. And those are going to be our guidelines for punching some holes. Now I want to punch both at once. I'm just looking here for a second because my paper is sort of directional. I'm taking some temporary adhesive and getting these lined up so that they're one directly on top of each other. And then I can punch with my crop -a dial both layers at once. Just take your time. If you have one of these new ones, just be careful in between that the a little thing hasn't slipped here if you're using that to, to guide you. And just uh, punch the holes down the strip, which I'll do, and then I'll be back. So once you're finished punching all of your holes, pull the pieces apart gently and 
I don't have a Cricut machine, but this little spatula that they sell to go with the Cricut machine is a really a handy tool for all sorts of things. So anyway, that's what I use to pull mine apart. Now you probably can see that one of my insides doesn't look very nice, but I'm not worried because what I'll do is just flip that to the outside and I'm just making sure that I still have all of my holes oriented in the same direction. And then what we want to do next is we have all of our um, little eighth inch dowels that have been cut to an inch and a half and we're going to glue them in to make the ladder. So just glue them in and when you glue them in have them just come out flush with the outside there. And when we're finished we're going to put a strip of paper over that so you won't see it. That's why it doesn't matter if one of these outsides doesn't look so nice because it'll be covered up with paper. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and glue all my things in. I'll use my mat to keep my uh, ladder straight and then I'll be back. Once your glue is set up on your ladder, cut two strips of decorative paper that are a quarter inch wide by four inches long and I back them with score, score tape as you can see and we'll just use those to go down the center and that'll cover up any paper problems that we might have as well as the ends of all of our little dowels. And then make sure you give them a good burnish once they're on. So now we want to create a slight angle on the bottom of our ladder and how we'll do that is to measure up on the back and the back is the side where we have the raw chipboard on the back we're going to measure up and make a little mark an eighth of an inch from the bottom an eighth of an inch from the bottom just make a little tick mark there and repeat that on the other side again on the raw chipboard side is the side we're measuring up on. Just measuring up an eighth of an inch. And then just take your scissors and line up the scissors with the eighth inch mark and the corner on the front. So, and then just give it a cut off. So we're going from that eighth inch mark to the front corner. And that just creates a nice little angle for our ladder. And I'm just going to ink, ink that. Now to check your ladder for fit, you will of course do this flat on the surface, but I'm just going to show you what we're looking for here. And we'll put the ladder in place here on the front. And the first thing I'm going to do is look at this angle that's down here. And when I have mine flat, this angle is just a little bit too steep. So I'm going to trim off a little bit in the front side so that when my ladder is right here at the front of the, of the landing, it is sitting flat. So I'm going to do that first. And now that I have that trimmed on the bottom, I'm going to look here at the top. Now we want this top edge to be a little bit below our lid surface and then we'd like for it to come out straight. So I can see that mine is up in the back here about a sixteenth of an inch. So I'll probably try trimming a sixteenth of an inch from the back and then oh so, somewhere not quite an eighth from the front. So what I mean by that is in the back I'll mark down about a sixteenth and in the front I'm just coming just a little bit between between a sixteenth and an eighth. And I'll try that out. I'm just going to try it on one side here. Then I can take the piece that I'm going to use for my top step and see how that is fitting. Is it, is it level across there? And I think that it is. 
and it's about just the right height here too, maybe just a smidge too high. So I'm going to cut the other side to match this and then we'll be back. So the cutting guide calls for us to cut the supports for the ladder a half an inch by an inch and three eighths. Well the inch and three eighths is just basically a starting point. What we want to do is cut that length down so that these pieces will fit exactly in between the ladder. You can see that I've already done that for this one. And so what I did was I just put, put it up next to the ladder and made a tick mark for the size and then cut that off. So I'll do that for this one. So now I want to place the magnet that's going to go on the ladder. I've got the um, lid on here so that the side with the magnet is here. And I've just got a couple of pieces of chipboard that, I'm sorry, cardstock that I put between the two magnets and I've removed the adhesive. And just in case I didn't get my magnet centered on that side to begin with. I'm going to bring my centering ruler up and then I can use that to make sure I get this little piece of chipboard centered. And it's down, not very far from the top. And then we can just pick up these two pieces of cardstock. And now we have our magnet installed on the piece. Now, you can see mine's a little bit off center, so I'll just remember that this is the top when I go to install this piece on the ladder. So to cover this piece that has the magnet, I've got a piece of cardstock, I'm sorry, pattern paper that is the same width as my piece of chipboard. And I've cut it just a little over an inch. And what I want to do is place the magnet side in the center And then I can wrap these edges around. Now I'm not going to be able to see my arrow, so I'm just going to put it on. This is the back side now, so I'm going to put it on there so that I don't lose track of which side to install. Now this is the side that's going to show, so I've cut a piece of the decorative paper that's a half inch wide and I can put it on top of that seam. And I have inked my edges. Give that a good burnish. And then we can go ahead and install this into our ladder. Now you should remember the back is the part with no chipboard and I, I know that this is my top and I have my arrow here so I know which way that this goes in. So I'll just use some wet glue and glue that in and then let that set up thoroughly. Now you may be thinking, but the ladder's on an angle, how is this gonna work? Well, these magnets that I'm using, and they're the basic gray magnets, are so strong that even the little gap, that there's not much of a gap, but even that little gap, they'll be able to connect. And it's, it doesn't need to be a strong connection, so it will be just fine. 
So now I want to cover my top step with some pattern paper. I've cut a piece that's the same uh, width as the step length, an inch and three quarters, and I have it cut about an inch and an eighth wide, and as you can see I've backed it with some score tape. So now I'm just going to center that step. And then I can wrap this around and the wrapped part will be underneath. We'll just give that a, a good burnish. Now the ends are bare chipboard, but I'm just going to ink them up a bunch. And I think that'll be fine. I mean, I've had some bare chipboard edges on other places in the project that I just inked. So there we go there. And so then we can put our ladder in place and then center our step on the top of the ladder and glue it in place. So I had left off putting the decorative paper on the top of the landing because I thought we might need to hinge the bottom of the ladder onto the platform. But I think that it's staying pretty well just with the magnet and friction. So I'm not going to add Tyvek or that second support piece. So I'm just going to attach my decorative paper. And then we can put our ladder in place. And then when we want to of course, the lighthouse is going to get attached here, but then when we want to open up the project to get to the mini album, we can just remove the ladder and then the lid can come off.